Ladies and gentlemen from Tagbilaran City, Bohol, Philippines, the action continues here. Pinoy Pride 12, and it's all brought to you by Ala Promotions and ABS CBN Sports. This next contest is scheduled for eight rounds. It's in the junior welterweight division. Now let's meet the fighters. First of all, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, tonight wearing the white trunks with the blue. He weighed in at 139 and one half pounds. Fight record, 10 wins, seven losses, nine victories by knockout. He comes to you from Jakarta, Indonesia, and he's known as the Hands of Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm Bohol welcome to Franz Yaranga. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner to my right tonight, wearing the red trunks with the Philippine flag. He weighed in at 140 and one half pounds. Fight record, 27 wins, two losses, with 16 knockouts. Originally from Kaga and Oro City, now fighting out of Cebu City, here is Jason El Nino Pagara. Some momentum going here. And yes, and that's not very long ago, so let's see what he brings to the, uh, to the ring tonight against uh, Jason Pagara, very promising young fighter. Scheduled for eight rounds. Pagara, the reigning WBO Asia Pacific Youth Light Welterweight Champion, which he won by a second round knockout. Philly Kopagara will use the jab to set up the right hand. And the one he, he has a height and reach advantage. Yes, and the Yaranga is keeping his distance. Tama. I don't think he wants to come and mix it up with uh, Jason Pagara. Sinabi na naman at the press conference, we'll fill this guy out first and see what happens. But he might not have time to see what happens. Oh, no. Bouncing off the ropes from the early display of power by Pagara. Jason Pagara is at 140 pounds. That's a junior welterweight division. That's where Timothy Bradley and the guys fight. So, you know, Miranda, a wild, uh, wild left and right, hoping yes. for the best. Well, he's going to lose a lot of energy that way. He's now very focused. He's a little, little reckless in the early part of his career. He's a good, technically a very good fighter, see Jason Pagara. Well, they got him really early. Um, Started fighting at the age of 14, six years ago. That so was September 24, his first uh, fight as a pro. See, you can see that Jason is using the... Pagara is using the left to set up the right. Mm -hmm. And Yaranga is going for that wild roundhouse right and left. He's hoping for a haymaker. Hoping for a haymaker, yeah. Jason, more precise, Pagara. And you know, Jason, I called El Nino, he wears some of the glitter which is reminiscent of the robes that people dress mm -hmm. the Santo Nino with. Of course, the Santo Nino, very dear to the hearts of our uh, countrymen in Cebu. Okay. And, uh, oh! oh! A great setup with the jab, Ronnie. He caught him exactly to the right. what he said. He's going to throw the left, set him up, and crack him with the right. And, and you know, he was flat footed, so he also lost his balance there. Okay, early knockdown in round number one, and Pagara setting the tone of this fight. Oh boy. I think Yaranga realizes he's in trouble. He's got no change in his facial expression, though. And he's really fighting flat footed here, he's not yeah. dancing around. Because he's going for that big right. And he's very wide. predictable. Predictable, yeah, predictable really. He'll step in, then lean forward and. Throw the wild Miss, right. Missed again with a wild uppercut. He's going to wear himself out. Pagara taking his time. That's a good sign. Yes. He's not rushing into a finish job. He's he big in, He's mature now. Yes. And, you know, Yaranga is lunging, which is not a good sign in very poor form. I say he'll get caught with the counter yeah. while he lunges and he's gone. He's wasting a lot of energy doing Final that. Final seconds of round number one. Good round for Jason Pagara. Yes, that's the end of the round. Time now for the Cobra Tooling in the last clinch of the round.
hook there, but you were right, Ronnie. The, the left jab caught him ducking, and he got yes. caught. And he was in Tamaka, he was a little off balance too. Yes. You know. But he, he was squared. He was squared, Tamaka. Oh, yeah. Round number two. But still, that counts as a knockdown. So it's a uh, Kenny Brown. Brown. Good start by Jason Pagara. They touched gloves to start the second round, scheduled for eight, but all of a sudden, Yaranga's time is ticking away. But Jason Pagara, throughout his young career, has gone from strength to strength to strength. Man. Yes. He's a, potentially a very good fighter. It's only probably he's pretty heavy, so at, at yes. that 140 pounds, I'm going to have international competition. That's going to be tough. Because you're no longer fighting the Mexica, just the Mexicans and the Latino fighters. You're going to start fighting some of the African-American fighters as well. And perhaps some Europeans too. Those are the uh, big hitters already. But my God, said, uh, he's got plenty of time. He's yes, he's a young, young kid. Very young. Oh, like that. Yaranga's right miss. Oh, Telegraphed completely, you know. Pagara dancing a little bit, trying to throw him off his rhythm. And he's not even looking when he throws him. Yes. Oh, right straight. I think this may be the end. He tried to fake Jason oh. out, and Jason said, this is not fake. This is real. Right straight. Oh, he is knocked down again. He's ready to go, right? Tries to smile it off, but, oh boy. And he's only got that one weapon that's been yeah. misfiring. And the problem is, because of the aluminum reach advantage, Lee Jason, oh. he cannot come close enough. Come on, he's going to get oh. Oh. Almost going again. Almost going again. I think this is it. Yeah. Got no. clocked hey. twice with the right. Oh, he was taking his time. He's wobbly, he's wobbly. He's not wobbly, but ready. Trying to shake it off. Takes the standing eight count. And Pagara has enough time to finish him off. Yeah. Plenty of time. And Pagara in no hurry. He's no in hurry. total command. You know, this is Jason Pagara. He, oh. he's, he's waiting for his moments. He's waiting for the opportunity. Ah. And this guy. And he doesn't wide. cover. He doesn't get up open. Pagara biding his time, waiting to drop the bomb. Yaranga. Yaranga with that just that one weapon. The roundhouse right. If he catches Jason with that, then it could be a different story. Well, yes. But he's been missing all the time. One two combination and Pagara stepping in. And, and the thing is, when he threw the right, Pagara stepped back and covered up very yes. nicely. Another right, raising right hand by Jason Pagara. And Pagara mixing it up here and it's confusing Yaranga. Sabini Yaranga, hands of stone though, siya, pero matigas lang ang mukha niya. Ito yan, a head, clash of heads. Jason was warning there, yes. told the referee, but the fight will continue. And with, uh, now he's, uh, Yaranga is trying to buy some time. He's got a cut on oh, the top of his head. Oh, that's a terrible cut. That's a terrible cut. And you know, if they stop the fight, I don't know what they're going to do. Because yes, this because is it's not eight. midway through the fight. Yet. Yeah, it's an eight-round fight. Normally, they, you have to complete four rounds. But since this is an eight-round fight, they may go to the scorecard since the third round. I'm not quite sure of how that rule operates. Well, I don't, I don't to think be honest with you. I don't think this cut is going to be enough to stop the fight. Yeah. It just hurts like hell. Dr. Onabia is taking a good close look at that. At, at, at best, he's buying himself some time. Yeah. Fight. 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 Says fight. Oh, fight. Boy. That's good. Do I have to? <laughs> uh, well, that's what he came here for. Nice he's complaining of the pain. The doctor says well, fight. The doctor can't give you anything for that. Now, if he doesn't fight, then it's a TKO. The automatic. Automatic TKO. And this guy has knocked out 58% of his opponents. Well, they must have gotten caught. That's a, you know, clubbing right hand. Yes. And uh, Alamona Yung, Yung, Yung cut on the forehead, it bleeds a lot, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's there, not dangerous. There aren't really any nerve endings oh, in the forehead. Of course, there's no muscle to protect your head either. Pagara trying to finish him before finish the round ends. But... Oh, oh, stunning left by Pagara. Down again. He's gone this time, I think. Oh, he gets up, up again. Oh boy, and the crowd applauding. 
And, you know, it's just a couple of seconds before the end of the round, so he's going to... You're going to survive. He's going to survive, but... So I don't, I don't understand. Are they... Uh, stop? The round's not over yet. Ah, Willie Lasso. Ah, he's talking to referee... Uh, Peregrino, it's over. It's over. The fight's over. The fight. The cornerman stopped it. That's my impression. Preventing it from taking any more punishment. Let's check out our Cobra Punch. Time now for the Cobra Tulane and the Cost Punch of the Rock. job here by Jason Pagara. And, uh, oh, after the first round, he was, oh! Right straight, flash on the face. Yeah, turned his head. And he really didn't have anything left. Look, another beautiful right by That combination Pagara. wobbled him, then another right to the tempo just threw him off balance. And, you know, this was a demolition job. Yeah. From the opening minute. He was dropped three times in the second round. But give the guy credit, he got up. Oh, yeah, and kept on going and going and going, and his corner said, enough, enough, enough. Come on. They'll have a couple of bouts coming up, including a main event. A game, but overmatched. France Yaranga of Indonesia. The Indonesian champion suffers a third round TKO. Yes, the when, when Andrew Stone bites the dust. Let's get the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Delbert Pellegrino waves off the bout due to the three knockdown rule. The time, 2.41 of the second round and the winner by TKO, now 28 and 2, Jason Pagara!